What is up everybody, Suburban Legend here, YouTube video game commentator, bringing you my review of PS4's brand new app, Share Factory. Now of course I am recording this, you know, this entire commentary right on my PS4 in Share Factory, using my Triton headset hooked up to my PS4, so you be the judge of the quality. Uh, 720p upload quality, same as I upload all my videos in. If you want to, you can go ahead and look through my channel and my previous videos. I upload all those. Uh, I record my gameplay through my Game Capture HD, and I upload uh, after rendering it in Final Cut Pro. So, of course, if you want to compare the quality, go ahead, but to me, the quality looks uh, pretty similar. <laughs> like I said, I, I pre-rendered this video uh, just as a test of rendering speed on PS4. This video is about 3 minutes, and it rendered in about 3 minutes, so nearly real-time rendering, which is very impressive. You know, I have a $1,600 MacBook I bought for my for my gameplay commentaries a few years ago, and this video here would have taken about 10 to 12 minutes to render typically. So, this thing renders faster than Final Cut Pro, and of course you don't have to buy a $1,600 computer, a $100 microphone, and, and uh, Final Cut Pro or Sony Vegas, which costs you around $400. So, the barrier to entry for video game commentating has now been uh, essentially blown down. <laughs> of course, you'd be the judge of this uh, of this quality. I know my my audio quality is not going to be as good on this video as it is on on my past videos, but I was very impressed by the render speed. Uh, this is just a little Battlefield 4 clip I recorded this morning. Well, well, uh, Share Factory was actually downloading in the background on my PS4, and of course my PS4 was also recording this gameplay footage to its own hard drive. So PS4 can definitely multitask. This thing is a uh, kind of a beast for a $399 box. Uh, it can do a lot. <laughs> I mean, it renders faster than my MacBook does, which I said is uh, is no small task. Um, however, the one bottleneck you will run into is after you uh, render out your gameplay, you have to go and transfer this over to a USB thumb drive if you want to actually upload it to YouTube. The PS4 does support direct to Facebook uploads, but not to YouTube at this time. So, like I said, you have to slide it over to your jump drive, which for me, this video here, took about 12 minutes just to slide over to a jump drive, uh, copy over to a jump drive so I can pop it in my computer and upload this to YouTube for you guys to watch, which definitely surprised me. Um, you know, output size for this 3-minute video was just under 200 megabytes, which is nice, which is a good size, uh, uploads quickly to YouTube, but like I said, uh, I was just surprised this video rendered in 3 minutes and took 12 minutes to transfer to a thumb drive, so that's the bottleneck there. Um, one strange thing too is while you're recording, you can't actually listen to the audio of your clip, so you know when when uh, music is fading in and fading out. Um, and I don't even think they have a fade effect right now for music. Uh, they do include some tracks, uh, but only 12 tracks this time uh, for your intro music. But you can upload tracks from your jump drive. So there's my quick review of the Share Factory. If you enjoyed this video, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel on YouTube.